Hi y'all, I'm back. It's Tammy. We are getting ready to do part three of the 17 and a half pound jewelry lot. I am, I'm not real happy about it. I had to stay up the other night until about one o'clock in the morning to try to unsort that stuff. I couldn't, I couldn't do it with y'all because we would have been for hours and hours. Um, this is part of the crap that I got in that, do you see this? Just knots, 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 knots. But I'm going to put this in the craft bucket, and I'm going to use this to make my three-dimensional art pieces that I'm starting to make. I'm thinking about maybe selling them. I don't know. If anybody's interested, let me know. Someone's already asked me for patterns. Um, we've been talking. We've been communicating. Hi, honey. Um, but I want to get started on this because it's going to be long. This is what we have to go through. It's a huge box. And there's also some stuff. I've got another TV tray right beside me. This is more of what was in that box that was, it was just keeping us from, from getting into anything. And you see some of it's still a tangled mess. But, and this I'm not going to put in my craft box. I'm actually going to cut it loose. Um, when I say cut it loose, I mean I'm actually going to cut it and uh, put the beads in the box and just have the loose beads. Because, I mean, come on. Look. Please. And this stuff was tied all around everything. I couldn't even get into it. So, we're going to do a part three and it's going to start now. Um, some things over here that I have already sectioned out just because I didn't want to put them back in the box. The box was already topping over. This appears to be a headband, and it's really cute. It's macrame, and it's got pearls. I guess it's macrame crocheted, and it's got a stretchy. It's cute. I don't normally wear headbands, but maybe I should start. They kind of, they hurt my head if I wear a headband too long, and I don't know. I'm putting that in a bucket over here. Here's another one. Oh, there's two, actually. Um, this one is missing a stone. It may or may not be vintage. I don't know. I love the, the milky moonstones. That's that. Here's another one that would go really well. Uh oh. With the, I just got a string on it. There it is. With the flapper costume. This sold for $16. And all it's missing is a jump ring. So, can y'all see that? That would go really good with the flapper costume. Put it over here. Now, this is all in pieces. I don't know what it went to. But it's all in pieces. So I figure, I mean, you know, I could even make earrings out of this if I want. Because it's already got the strings going. I mean, not the whole thing by any means. But um, I could make that into earrings. But I'm going to put it in my craft bucket. Because I can use that more for my decorations right now that I'm doing. I found this piece. It's got a name on it, but y'all know I can't see stuff like this right now. I'll check it later, and I'll let y'all know any kind of emblems or tags I see. I thought I had, but maybe it's something else. Anyway, that I didn't want in the craft bucket. That's going in this bucket. Um... Seashell. Crap bucket. This I found. It's a little girl's necklace. If y'all know what these little things are, let me know. And here's another little piece that goes with it. That all it goes right in there, and all I gotta do is get some E6000. I've got that. And the little piece that fell off of is right there. So I can just poke that right back in there and that's completed. 
But I don't know what the, the theme is, the little cartoon theme. There's up here. See that? And what I'm getting ready to pick up now, these are some little earrings already on the card. This is a black... What is this emblem, guys? You'll see it. It looks it's two C's looped together. They're heavy. They're heavy. They're, they've got the knot in between the glass beads. Something tells me that might be something. I don't know. And then I have this, which is also the loop to see. It's an earring. Tell me what they are. And what I've got here, I'm getting ready to scoop up a bunch of loose beads. And I'll show you in my hand. It's just a bunch of loose beads that fell off. I'm putting those in my bucket right beside me in my, for my crafts. This is a child's ring, plastic, just a little plastic child's ring. But that'll be really good for my craft for an eye or that's really cool. This is a single earring. I've got another earring bucket over there. Yeah, that's the earring bucket. You just I have so much. There's a heart. Just an earring. Just by itself. Something's worrying me on this. I think I'm going to have to go through all this jewelry again. All of it. It's so much. There's this. An earring. A single. This is just somebody made their own little pin. I guess I thought it would be cute. It's on a safety pin. Okay, and this is an earring. No match, but it's really a cute earring. But very boho. I could split that in half and make two earrings out of that. So we'll put him over here. This is another bunch of, this is, um, what is it, Fozzie Bear? I think is his name. I don't know for sure. It's just one. Well, y'all can't see that at all. And there's writing on the back. But I'm pretty sure it's Fozzie Bear. We'll keep him. This is a little earring that I do not have a match. These are little frog... Little froggies. They're the same design. But different colors. This is another reason I wanted to get those earring trees. I think it would y'all can see things better. See the little froggy? He's cute, but you know, like I said, it's two different colors. I have a feeling it came on a card. Alright. Now we have this necklace that came. It's still got a knot and there's hair in it. And here's a piece that's broken that goes with it. I mean, it's an easy fix. It's just... I don't know if it's worth my time to fix that piece. No name. That's going in the jewelry bucket for the crafts. I'm so, I want to get into that really bad. I'm really bad about that. This one says it is paparazzi jewelry. But it's only one piece. Paparazzi chandelier earring. It was. It's a really pretty piece. And then someone's dog tag. Um, I have... This says... I can't read it. A 
conspire. It looks... We'll see. I've got a magnet right here. I don't know anything about the magnet, but let's see what happens. You see what happens? Stuck to it. No good. That will go in the bucket. Let me wait a minute. Did I do this one? You know what? Look. It might be drawing it. I don't... I can't tell. It feels a little like it's drawing it. In that bucket. And I got a whole lot of these little... The little... They broke off of a bracelet, I'm sure. Or a little a simple chain. But they're really cute. I have their blue. I have two blue and one pink. They have cute for little blue eyes. And I think I showed y'all those. Little earrings on the card. These, I think, are a real turquoise. This is a bracelet. With one silver ball in the center. It looks like it might have something on the lobster claw. Mm, let's keep it. Then this, I don't know if I showed you all this or not. That really is pretty. They are, I think they're plastic, I'm not sure. But that's really pretty. And it has a, it might have a name on it. It has something. It might be the, just the etching. But it's got one of the clasp like that. And it hooks in place. It's a very nice piece. Very nice piece. Then we have... I've never heard of this brand. I have any, has anyone ever heard of that? And it has this little, um, you'll see that. It's not open, so I'm not opening it. But it's definitely this. Oh, sorry. Okay. So that's going in here. Then we have a single earring. I've got to learn how to do this better. Just a single earring. But that'll look cute in my stuff. Another ring. Another single. Oh, my hair is falling down again. I'm having a terrible time. I'm trying to clean off this other tray. This is also a big fat mess. I have no earthly clue how it goes. But it is a tangled, jumbled mess. I'm thinking this will go good to cut the chains loose and just use it in my, my <clears throat> art. This is also pretty. I love pearls. Pearls are so pretty. These are like pearl drops. Very pretty chain. Very, very pretty. I didn't see any marks on it. But like I told y'all, I really didn't look. I was waiting for until we were together to do it, to really search through it. It was just such a pain. Then we have, I think I showed y'all that one. This. Yes, and I'm putting it right back in a box. So I have to untangle it later. This piece, I don't know if I showed y'all or not.
This is an arrowhead. It's sealed. Just a silver bar that goes on a chain. No marking. This is a... Why it has a paper clip on it, I don't know. I think that's how they were displaying them. It's beautiful, beautiful crucifix. And it has lots of words on the back. Christ is... Christ is coming for you. I don't know. It's got these little emblems with it. I don't know what it's about, guys. We have this. This says Barbie. That might be actually worth something, maybe. It's lead-free, nickel-free. I think I showed y'all that. Then we have all tangled up. Hold on. I think I showed y'all this one, which is absolutely stunning. So pretty. So pretty. I don't see any name, any marking. It actually looks copper. Antique gold. It's so pretty, guys. I love it. And then this I found, guys. Tell me what the use is for. It's uh, Vera Bradley. Can y'all see? Or it says Vera Bradley. But it's a chain. And it looks like it's got like her threads or her uh, material that's running through it. So y'all tell me what this is for. Then I found this. Can y'all see that? It's a bracelet. really pretty. I didn't see any kind of markings on it either. But it is, um, I need to check it with the the magnifying glass or the camera so it can, I can really read it. It's really well made. Very, very pretty. I'm going to put him to the side because I like that one a lot. Then we have this piece. The tassels are cool. Ooh, we're at 18 minutes and I haven't even gotten the box yet. Um, I'm not going to work with that. This is a bunch of little junky earring pieces. Let's get to the big box, guys. Okay. We have this piece. It's a bracelet or an anklet. It's got a leaf on it, the little white milk glass beads, and a little gold tone. Multiple chains. But I'm pretty sure that's an anklet. I don't see any... There's... I don't know if there's any marks on it or not. I'm pretty sure it's an anklet. Tell me what this is. I thought at first it was like a, a hat, you know, yeah, the belly dancer type hat. What is it? It's too small, unless you put it over a bun, but then you really have to have a lot of hair. I do not know what this is, and I would like some help. I have no clue what it is. Okay. 
I finally got some. I don't normally get them, but I actually got some seashells. And I don't mind these. I don't mind these at all because with my crafts I've got coming up that I'm going to use, the, the seahorse and stuff, this will come in very handy. Got some big white pearls. Pretty long string. This is very long, I think, silver. Heavy. That's the only thing that's stopping me because it's really heavy. And... I don't know that it's pulling. I can't pull it away from my hand at all. I don't feel any pull. Yep. Wait a minute. Yep, that's not real. See the pull? Watch. That's not real. Craft bucket. <clears throat> this is hemp, I think. Or the macrame. It's gross. Yeah. Then I have a Christmas necklace that I will never wear. This is, uh, that micro, I don't think it's suede. It may be, I don't know. It is, it's lucky. It's a lucky brand. You put him in there. This, I think, was really cute to, to wear with my, um, Victorian outfit. That's cute. see it it's messed up here I don't know if I can fix that or not but for the costume it might be okay it also has a tag I'm getting hungry guys I didn't eat anything I ate one zinger not the package, just one cake. We have... This is a hollow heart. And it has a... It's already turning color, so it's just not real. But it has a magnet as well. Magnet clasp. This is terrible. But it'll go good in my, my, my butterfly art that I'm going to do. Straight in the bucket. I remember I showed y'all this because I told you you could have worn it for the 4th of July. Red, white, and blue glass beads. I like it, but uh, I think I'm going to put it into my craft bucket. Uh-oh, we're tangled up, guys. Untangle quickly. Already at 24 minutes, and I haven't even started the box hardly. This is a dolphin, and it has something on the back. Can't read it. It might say Italy. I think it says Italy. If it says Italy, it's probably it's either pewter or silver. It's oh, it's cute. See it. That's cute. Then we have these. Use this piece. This piece is lovely. It's got a knot in it. 
and I don't see a name. No tag, no markings, nothing. Really pretty piece. Let me have this. It appears to be silver. Let's see here. I can feel the push away. Let's keep her. Let me have this. It's a dolphin on a purple ball. I don't, I think it's a cat's eye stone, I don't know. I think that's silver. Let me have these. Then we have, I don't know what the story is with this one. It's in the bag. I didn't take it out of the bag. And it's black bead. It might be a pearl, black pearl. I don't know. But it was separated. We have this. Y'all know how I feel about these uh, fishing line necklaces. I mean, it's really pretty. And I understand the concept. But I just, for myself, I do not like the fishing line string. They're glass beads. It's probably Swarovski crystal. It's really pretty, but I don't like the line, the fishing line, myself, for, my, for me. Others wear it, and it's lovely. This is atrocious. This is just a macrame. Looks like it's handmade. This is glass, but not for me. I think that's going in that box. And then we have these seashells, which are fine with me. Again, I've got three little clusters of these. I know it's broken off of something, but um, I'm going to use it for my art. Wooden beads. Broken. But will be lovely in my art. That's actually the Greek key design. I think I showed y'all this. I'm missing a um, the stone in the center. But it's a really pretty piece. I might find a stone for that. These are pretty pearls. These are blue. And it's um, got a nice clasp, but it like just pulled apart on me, so I have a feeling it's broken. I can't believe I didn't get myself any food while I was out. I might have to go back out. These are pretty blue pearls with the little stones in the middle. pretty color <clears throat> and we have these no name plastic and we have a butterfly not very even I think it must be missing a jump ring or it's not on there correctly because it should hang flush. But it's cheaply made, I think. Oh, excuse me, there's a tag on it. I can't read what it says, but it definitely has the maker's mark on it. I'll read that later. I'm trying to get through it, guys. We're 30 minutes already. I'm going to have to stop this video and make another one. There's another piece. I don't know what they tried to do, but it's got elastic hair bands.
I don't understand some of this stuff. Here's a heart. This one, um, it also has some kind of mark on it. If anybody knows, if you've seen anything like this, let me know. We have this piece. This has got to be a crystal. Very pretty. No name. I'm clean it up. That's really pretty crystal. I like that. I'll keep that for myself. Glass beads. Magnet. Pretty. Um, <clears throat> I think we have another anklet. Hand beaded. It's cute. Probably would lay well. Alright, we have I Love Horses. On one of the old dog tag type chains. We're at 31 minutes, guys. I'm going to stop this video as part three, and then I'm going to do a part four also. I hope I can stop with part four because I'm, this is a lot of stuff in this box. But anyway, I love y'all. Thanks for uh, watching my channel. Subscribe, tap the bell. You'll know when I have upcoming videos coming out. And give me a big thumbs up. Happy comments in the uh, comment section below. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, I'll see you, friends.